All right, so OpenAI has finally announced Search GPT or a search engine similar to Google. And is it finally time to dish Google and say goodbye to all the crappy ads and sponsor listing? Well, let's find out in this video. All right, so this right here is the ChatGPT search blog post. And as you can see, ChatGPT search will be available on chatgpt.com today for all ChatGPT Plus and team users. And if you have been on the search GPT waitlist, you will also get access to it today. Don't worry, even if you are not a ChatGPT Plus or Teams users, if you have signed up for the waitlist, you can refer to your email and see if you received this particular email. And if yes, you can simply click on this option to access ChatGPT search directly. So this right here is the interface of search GPT and pretty much everything looks pretty similar to that of the regular chat GPT. And plus this time around, you can see an option that says search the web and a simple text bar is here and you can go ahead and search for whatever you need. So if you click on the search option right here, you will find a couple of drop down menu, something similar to this one. And all of these are trending searches for demonstration purpose. Let me just click on this random TV series. And as you can see, chat GPT is now searching the web to find information related to the query and it is showing the response in the screen and it is a little different from the usual chat GPT response, right? So as you can see towards the bottom, you have a section called sources and upon clicking it, a pop-up will appear showing you all the websites that it has or chat GPT has referred to for finding information shown on the screen. And if you want to find more information, you can simply click on one of these links and it will open up that particular website in a new tab and you can go ahead and find more information related to the same. Now that ChatGPT has access to the internet and it has real time information, if you go ahead and ask some questions like what's the latest iPhone model, ChatGPT should be able to tell the correct answer. So let me just click on enter and let's see. And as you can see, iPhone 16 is the latest model and ChatGPT has up to date information about everything. So back in the day, uh, every model that ChatGPT or OpenAI released will have like a knowledge cutoff date. So anything after that particular cutoff date won't be available. And even if you make a search, ChatGPT will just hallucinate or will tell you that it doesn't really have knowledge about any of those. Now that ChatGPT has up to date information from the internet, you can find information related to all real time happenings. And yeah, it just works. Next, I can go ahead and simply search for latest news and hit enter and let's see what it comes up with. And as you can see, here are the latest news updates for November 1, 2024. And that also happens to be the day I'm recording this video. And search GPT is showing us international news, technology news, sports news and a whole bunch of other news. And along with all of these news, you, you, they also give us the link to the reference or whatever website they pulled the data from. And upon clicking the same, it will open up that website in a new tab. And now let's just search for what's uh, latest with open AI and let's see if it shows anything related to search feature. And yes, there we have it. Chat GPT search feature and it is pulling this data from Ars Technica and you can find a reference link and all that kind of information. So even if you want to know about the latest happenings and news, ChatGPT is now able to show all of that. And the best part is that ChatGPT will summarize the entire content and give, will give you information like this in like a couple of sentences. And that's also a good thing. Apart from that, search GPT can also now show you real time stock and uh, cryptocurrency price data as well. For example, let me just simply search for Goog price, simply search for it and hopefully it should return as a chart. And as you can see, we have the stock price for Alphabet Incorporated, the current price, the last traded day, the percentages, the chart, and you can switch to five day, one month, six month, and all that information. And you also get a little bit of description about the current, uh, what's happening with the company and all that kind of stuff. Similarly, if you search for Bitcoin price, I hope we should get another chart showing Bitcoin price as well. And yes, we have it here. So the current price and all of these data is actually real time. And for the sources, I guess it's using Market Watch and Yahoo Finance. And the best part is that whatever results that search GPT shows you, you also get to see the target link or source from which it is pulling the data. So if you are doubtful as to if it's authentic, you can simply click on this option and view more information and confirm if the whatever stuff that ChatGPT shown you is actually correct or not. Next, let me search for what's the weather today in NYC. And ooh, as you can see, the interface is a little different here and you have the weather data for New York for the next seven days, I guess. And that's cool too. And you can switch between Fahrenheit and uh, Celsius right here using this option right here 
and you also get this severe weather warning alert okay so if there is some kind of weather alerts or something as such you can get a dedicated panel here showing you all the details so as it says it has red flag warning in effect from 8 am today until 7 pm edt so that's also yet another cool thing as search gpt is a search engine it should have information about places also right so if you go to google and search for something like coffee places in manhattan you should be shown a bunch of random results from the place right so let's just go ahead and search for the same on chat gpt or search gpt and let's see what it shows up it's coffee places in manhattan and it says it's searching the web and let's wait all right it's still loading next let me search for cheapest flight from mumbai to las vegas and let's see if it can show real-time prices and data and not exactly it's actually redirecting us to fly cheapflights.com and we'll have to take it up from there but it says the price is 513 dollars and that's just it okay you can't really rely on search gpt for deals and stuff like that for that i guess for now we'll have to stick with google and here on the blog post they also say we also partnered with news and data providers to add up-to-date information and new visual design for categories like weather stocks sports news and maps so if you ask for a location and its weather uh, interface something similar to this will be shown and for stocks as we have seen will be shown a nice chart and graph and for sports the live scores and stuff as such will be shown and for news will have this kind of uh, special embeddings and for maps when you search for a coffee place or a restaurant in this particular location a maps will be shown and it will also have listings related to whatever restaurants that is listed and shown and the timing the ratings the description photos and all sort of stuff like that so that's search gpt in a nutshell so the cool thing about search gpt is that it just searches for whatever stuff that you asked for on the web and returns results as if it's giving us a normal response so if you were to search for the same on google you will be seeing a lot of crap ads and sponsored listings and you'll have to go through multiple websites to take an informed decision right well all thanks to search gpt it will go ahead and make the search and summarizes the information from multiple websites and it will give you a condensed version of the same and that way with less time you get more information and that way you can save a lot of time and another cool thing about search gpt is that it has no ads whatsoever so you just go ahead and ask some question and chat gpt will search for it and give you the results and that's just all about it you don't have to navigate and you don't have to take time to differentiate between a sponsor listing and a non-sponsor listing and any of that chat gpt will refer to the website and gives you all the information that you want so that's pretty much all about search gpt and yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show in this video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.